This is the instructional video on how to use the Dynisco LMI 5000 melt flow indexer. Um, the power switch is in the back, um, so reach around, uh, turn that on, and then you'll see this screen right here. Um, basically see what the current temperature is, what the temperature set point is. Uh, you're going to go down to the second button, you'll see some list of methods. If you need to make a new one for your plastic, um, you can click the third button. Um, you can input a new program name, uh, the set point temperature. The melt time should be around 420 seconds by default. Hit the down arrow and then the load will be constant 2.16 kilograms and then three cuts with 30 seconds each. Then you can click the save icon here. Okay, and then go back to the second one and you'll see um, your list of methods here. We're gonna be testing high density polyethylene and this is the, the spec for that. Uh, this bottom right will run that method. Then in this top box you can put in the name of your sample. And, and then we can run the method with this bottom right button. The first thing that's going to happen is uh, we'll be stabilizing the temperature at the set point. So it'll probably come up from room temperature. It might take uh, 15 minutes or so to stabilize. After it's like uh, pretty close to the set point, uh, we can hit the next button. At this point, we're going to load and pack the material. So we're going to go to the, the scale here, put, it, put one of these weigh dishes on the inside zero out the scale with the left button here and then take your chosen polymer pellets and weigh about five grams into the weight dish here. Depending on the density of your plastic it may take uh, more or less pellets. It's about five. It doesn't have to be super exact. This is like 5.14, um, but it was that much of the, the beaker. All right, after we've got that, you can see the screen says load and pack material. Um, you're gonna look into the, the toolbox, this, this black box here, and find this funnel. You're going to put the funnel up top here. And, um, this metal piece is hot, so be careful that you don't touch it with your fingers. And load the plastic pellets into the funnel. Um, don't do it too quickly, or they may get stuck inside the funnel. You can wiggle the funnel to make sure that they are going through. In this case, they are not. <laughs> All right. So, we may need to pack these in. tool here. The packing tool has like a wider bottom on it. Um, so we're going to push these pellets in. Make sure that this die is like straight up and down. It's just a steam bubble. been some existing plastic in here, which is a good reason to clean it out before you use it. When the material is packed in there, you're just going to clean out any extra with this uh, trowel. 
pull the packer out and grab the piston. The piston looks like this piece. Um, should probably be cleaned with some cloth. There are some cotton uh, rags in here. So, while it's hot, you should wipe this off. So. So it should be clean so that this piece uh, flows smoothly. Okay. So that when you put it up here, this piston is able to travel smoothly through that ring. Um, so push the, the bottom right button after you've packed the material, and it's going to say to put the weight on top of the piston. So grab the, it says 2.16 kilograms. This is actually 2.06, and the piston itself is 100 grams. So put that on top. Good check. And then we're going to wait for the melt time to reach zero.